What's going on, Print Fam? Did you miss me? It is Monday, the 23rd of April, and it's 9.53 a.m. Many of you may be wondering, what's been going on with you, bro? Well, let me tell you. I got a new member of the print shop. She's right there. Her name's Gigi. Say hi, Gigi's. Oh, yeah, that's adorable. She's cute as shit. And in regards to the print shop, Jesse and I have been plugging along, getting shit done, stacking cash. Thanks for calling Monument. My name's Cam. How can I help you? We got a special delivery coming. My dude Robert was gracious enough to help unload this, so it's sitting in front of the shop. And I'll probably install it over the course of the next couple of days. He wants to see the operation. You didn't give me a stylus. All right. There you go. Awesome, buddy. Yeah, later, man. See you, man. So here it is. This is my wash booth. We got a new and improved uh, drain filter. And then there's some other shit in there. I don't know what all that stuff is. I'm not actually gonna install this right now. I just wanna get that stainless steel out of the sun as quickly as possible so it don't get scalding hot. Now comes the arduous task of tearing down the pallet. It's really fun getting in new equipment, but the shitty part is when it's, you know, during business hours, you can't stop what you're doing and then start putting that shit together. You have to wait. You have to carve out a piece of, of the day so that you can do it. Oh, and here comes Amazon. We got all kinds of deliveries. What's up, dude? Yes, sir. Never had a dog before, so I'm just spoiling her a little bit. I got her all this great shit. Got her a uh, brand new harness. Got her a bunch of doggy treats, a doggy bed, which I know she'll never lay in. But you know what? Don't care because she's a good dog and she needs to be comfy. Oh yeah. These are from uh, Hydro74. You should be able to find him on Instagram. He was he had some screaming deals on these. I'm gonna get them framed up and then I'll do another little thing. But then also, check it out, he gave me this. An enamel pin. Get out of here. She thinks it's food. Pins are awesome, but no one's rocking them anymore. I'm down. Jesse is out there getting all his jobs set up, getting ready to print his projects for the day. And I was able to successfully get that wash booth off the pallet, inside, safely stored away so that I could start installing it probably tomorrow or the next day. Today, I have a ton of work I gotta do here on the computer. So it's 2.28 p.m. right now. I'm gonna tackle this. I'll probably be at it for the rest of the day. We'll see, but more than likely, that's what I'll be doing. They say when you gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah, you're not cute or anything. Tuesday, April 24th, 10 a.m. Actually, it's 9:55 a.m. Still gotta get this shit tore down and chucked in the garbage. In the meantime, we will be working on crushing some of these damn jobs that we got in the queue. Look how tough you are. You're so tough. Drop it. Drop it. Good girl. And go fetch. This came in a little while ago. I ripped the tab on it because I didn't know what it was. And then once I seen what it was, I didn't investigate it because I wanted to investigate it on camera. So here we go. Oh, shit. So shout out to Brian Buffka, first place printing. I'll be sure to stick them on the thing here. What else we got here? There's a bunch of shit. Oh, you made me some Print Life stickers. That's sick. Thanks, man. Y'all be sure to check them out, send them a follow. Uh, Jesse just got here. Today we are experimenting with CCI's, um, what is it, the RFU mixing system to see if you can get a opaque print by doing a print flash print. 
Yeah, the first go around is that by the time we started printing, it looks like the screens are already clogged. They didn't have enough ink in there. See if you can get them cleared. If you can't, you're gonna have to reburn them. All right, this is completely unscreen printing related, but it's driving me crazy and I just had an idea about this. So I'm gonna do it. Do you see this wall? It's wire spaghetti. Insanity, right? I got an idea how to fix it. Much more organized board. I'm using these uh, hole saw cutouts to mount it off the wall. I'm just reusing them. Let's see. Look how much cleaner this desk is. Okay. I'm getting a few more uh, artwork approvals from my clients. Well, actually, I'm uploading the art for them to approve. And that should pretty much let me be wrapped up for the day. While we wait for approval on those, let's see how Jesse's doing. Obviously, with the T-Charge, you could add a discharge powder to it, and it would be fine on 100% cotton. But in this case, we're actually trying to print some 50-50s, which as you guys know, when you try to discharge them, they turn out heather white, or heather gray, or whatever the color is. So we were just hoping that we could do it double down, and it would look great. But we are gonna try discharging it now. We're gonna do the wet on wet print, we're gonna flash it, let it discharge, and then we're gonna do another print on top of that and see if that second coat is enough to at least cover the heathering in the polyester. All right. This looks pretty good, but I'm gonna do some wash testing. So we'll run it through the wash here, see if it holds up. Yeah, it's not working. We have another job that's a priority that, we're, that we just have to get done. So we're gonna tear this down, do the priority job, and then come back to this tomorrow. Jesse managed to wrap up the priority job that we needed to get done. But the question remains, can we figure out this water-based issue that we were dealing with more or less all day today? We'll see tomorrow. Yeah. We back for another go around. Wednesday the 25th, 9.55 a.m. All right, Print Fam, today's the live day, it's Wednesday. So I'm not gonna be doing much in terms of this vlog thing, but I will check in with Jesse as, as we work on the progress of that project that we were working on yesterday. Other than that, I'm just gonna be preparing for the live show. So that's what I'll be working on the majority of the day. Uh, the game plan for today is quite simple. We're still trying to pull this off without an underbase, but we are burning an underbase just in case this whole thing doesn't work. Moment of truth. Just waiting for this shirt to come out of the dryer. I don't know for sure. We pretty much tried everything with that doing a discharge, flashing it, doing another one on top of it. And the, the results aren't what I was looking for. It's an unrealistic expectation. I wasn't expecting it to work. I just wanted to try and see. Well, it's almost time to open and I'm reminded of the fact that I have to run to the hardware store during business hours to get parts so that I can successfully install the washout booth and the drain filter. On a weekend, it would be fine, but on a weekday, I got deliveries to make, I got client phone calls to answer, I got emails to respond to. It's a problem to step out of the office during the weekday. Time to open. Stuff to actually install it. 
For now, just know that the installation of the washout booth and the drain filter is coming shortly, but I can't install it yet. And there are reasons why, which you will find out in the coming video uh, in regards to the installation of that thing. Yeah, that sucks. Oh well. Check it out. Uh, my undershelf lighting kit came in. Let's get that thing installed, eh? Whoa. Okay, these lights suck. I don't like them. They're not bright enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I did not like those LED lights at all. I need stronger ones like this. So that's out the, that's out the gate, not gonna work. At 12.38 p.m., I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. Nine twenty a.m. If you've made it this far through the vlog, then I'm confident showing you this little sneak preview. So the first UI of the dashboard is in from the developers. Um, we're, we're working on it page by page to make sure that we include everything in it. So I just wanted to show you a quick sneak peek of, it doesn't have all the interactivity and some of the things are wrong, but it's close, it's really close. Each one is expandable with all of your job information. It shows your client name, company name, your, how many projects. This just gives you quick visual reference as to what job you're working on. This is a really nice feature that I didn't have in the first one that I wish I had, so I definitely had to add it in. I know some people mentioned a job calendar, a fucking calendar, and we may add one later on. I have never, in the, enti in the entire time that I've been using this thing, felt like I needed a calendar. What I needed was a date filter, but never a calendar. So at the moment, I'm not even focused on putting one in. I don't think it's necessary in any way, shape, or form. <clears throat> this site is gonna be f***ing epic! And you all are gonna be able to enjoy it. I'm done babbling about that, I know it can get a little boring. One last thing, I am gonna be relaunching the Kickstarter campaign uh, because what ended up happening is I was able to get half of the funding that I needed, uh, but I do still need the other half to continue the, the, the development pace that we're at at the moment. All right, we have another circumstance, which uh, this is why I didn't want to report too early on whether or not this thing was actually worth the fuck or not. Jesse was just printing with it and it stopped turning on. And we're about, I don't know, I guess four months in with it now. Yeah, I'll let it cool down. It's like super hot to the touch everywhere. After it cools down, I'll open it up and see if something has melted. Uh, I don't know, we'll figure it out.